So we're in a 2017, 2018 uh, brand new BMW and we're looking at some of the setup features here on the iDrive. And the iDrive now has lots of shortcut buttons. So you can go straight to MIDI, you can go straight to telephone. Uh, this will just take you back. Pressing it sideways often will take you backwards in the menu. Pressing it back will take you back to where you were before. It's something I wish my iPhone often had. You can just go back one step from the last thing that you've gone to. Uh, if you want to go back deep, back up out of the menu, you can just press it sideways. So what we're looking at here is uh, the lights and lighting systems of the car and how to set that. So to start with, like most things with the iDrive, just press menu button and that'll take you to that main menu. And then we scroll down to the settings. So scrolling down is turning the knob and then we press the knob to select. So that is selecting settings and then we want lights. So we select lights. And then here, the ambient lighting is set to classic. If we select that, you'll see we've got classic and we've got luxury. I suppose we should put that on and see what actually happens, hey? Anyway, and then the brightness here of your lighting, you can adjust. Let's select that. We can adjust the brightness. And then we go down. It's going to jump over exterior lighting. Or here is the exterior lighting. The home lights. There's little... Um, lights under the door handles which shine down to light up the, the ground and you got how long those lights are on for here we can select that and here adjust how long those lights are on for wow 240 seconds now we're on let's leave them on 50 and then one touch triple turn signal this is for your indicators when you're turning uh, right and left having the one touch on means you can just give it a little flick like that oh it's got to do it for me Give it a little flick, it'll flash three times and then go off. Or if you give it a harder push, then it stays on like it normally would in an intersection. That's something that gets a little bit of getting used to, but particularly if you're diverging, that's good in that it'll come off nice and quickly and you can just touch it to turn the longer one off. So there, if you don't want that one touch on, that's where you turn it off. And daytime driving lights, um, it's a bit of a Volvo thing or a BMW thing. Again, you don't have to have it you can turn those daytime driving lights off there. Here we go, the welcome light, that's the one under the door handles I was talking about. When you unlock the car, it'll light up. So if it's dark, you can see where the car is and see where you are. You don't have to have that on. If you want to be discreetly getting into your car, you can turn that off there as well. So there you go, there is the lighting and where to find it in your new model BMW.